up guys it's bg4x i'm coming at y'all with another little video here and um real quick before i start the video i just want to say if you really want to if you really want to get a full understanding of what i'm doing here make sure to watch this whole video so you can really get a full walkthrough of everything now what i'm looking at right here is AUD usd on a 15 minute time frame now i'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek of my strategy uh, if you haven't caught on to it yet, basically I like to trade reversals. Um, reversals are my favorite thing to trade. That's pretty much what I trade the most. Then, uh, second, I like to trade breakouts. And third, I like to trade harmonics. And I like to do a few other strategies that, as well. But that's, uh, other stuff that I'll get into once the course drops. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all, you know, I'll give y'all some value for free because this is something I don't see a lot of mentors do. Um, I just feel that if I'm out here trying to really help people, then there's really not much of a reason I wouldn't at least put some type of content out that you guys can actually get value from. So basically with my strategy, I like to see a strong trend. I like to see a strong trend in one direction. Now, once I see the strong trend upwards, that's going to catch my attention. And what I'm going to look for is the M formation. I'm going to look for price to actually slow down. As you can see right here, price slowed down. It actually made the M, but price didn't break that that M's level. So that was not something I was interested in. Okay, price started to come up. We had a W, um, came down, but once again, we're on a uptrend. I'm trading reversals, so I wouldn't be really wanting to look for a W. Now, right here, you can see we have this forming and price is ultimately um, slowing down through right here. You can see price is coming up strong. Now it's starting to slow down. So we have the M. Let me get that off the screen real quick. We have the M. And now I'm just going to look for price to kind of slow down and make a downward move. So right after the M, we have price coming down. Okay, now this means this is my swing low. So I'm gonna wanna connect swing high to swing low. Price isn't touching my 618 or my 786. Now price is still moving down. Now once I see uh, this, this range right here, I'll map it out for y'all. Once I see this little area of consolidation, this shows this is most likely gonna be our swing low. So I'll go ahead and connect my field lines just like this. Okay, I'm going to connect my fib lines. And as you can see, the measurements line up perfectly here. We have the M. You know, we have the M formation. We have the break. Um, didn't touch our 618 at the time. It's now coming down. It's finally touching our 618. So this is my signal for my entry. Now, I usually won't enter on the 618. Sometimes a little depending on what the price action is actually looking like. But I usually won't enter on the 618. I usually enter in the middle of the 786 fib line and the 618. I'll enter right in the middle. But being the way price was acting here, obviously I already see how this played out, but it's a trade actually took a while back. I entered right on the 618. Stop loss is gonna be on the one level. <clears throat> and uh, take profit, you can either bring it down to the 272 or the 618. This is really your choice. I'm gonna take it to the 272 and I'm actually gonna trail my stop loss. Okay, so as you can see, we're going into profits. Now, once price got real close to my take profit, I would extend it down and I would then move my stop loss to break even. Or sometimes I'd even move it right here just so I could lock in these profits. But at this point, let's see, price almost hit the negative 618 but most likely it would have came up and hit the 272 when price decides to reverse again. Now, as you can see, that's take profit uh, hit. That's actually um, 2.27 risk to reward, which isn't too bad. I like to aim for a three for most of my trades. But um, once I got halfway into profits, obviously this is gonna come down. You know, this comes all the way down to break even, just so we could you know, we could automatically have a no risk trade. But now look guys, I want you guys to see what happened here. After the reversal happened, you know, I'm gonna map this out. 
uptrend, price slows down, we get our M, we get our re retracement, retest to the level. Price is gonna reverse. We're gonna catch this whole move right here. Now, I know I'm drawing a lot on here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove all the drawing tools. But I'm gonna show you guys, okay? We caught this whole move. Starting at this retest, we caught this whole move down, okay? I actually measure how many pips that is for y'all. Okay, we started here. Okay, so that's about 65 pips. Okay, now me, I like to think pips don't matter at all. It's really all about how much you risk and the percent that you gain, okay? Now, um, yeah, 65 pips, we see price no longer reversing. We can see that price had a strong movement upward and now it's starting to consolidate. Now, this is where my breakout strategy comes in. Okay. Strong movement up. It looks like, it looks like pretty much the downtrend is over at this point. So what I do is, is I'll map out my high right here and I'll map out my low. Okay. And this is where you're going to have to be real careful when it comes to trading breakouts. You don't want to get stopped out. You don't want to get trapped into any fake breakouts, okay? But what I do here is I'll be looking for a buy, especially with a strong movement upwards and a little bit of consolidation, okay? I'll put my buy limit order a couple pips above this high. I'll put my stop loss right below this, uh, this low. And then I'll put my risk to reward ratio on a two. Now, obviously, I take profit got hit. But you know that, you know, I like to put my stop loss at break even and I like to trail it, you know, till I can't trail it anymore. I like to constantly trail. I like to manage my trades and really lock in some good profits. So like I said, you could continue trailing this. Depending on how long you like to keep trades, you can continue trailing this. Now, once, uh, once you get to this level, you ended up catching about 111 pips, which is great. Okay. Then look. What did, I, what did I say about reversals, guys? What did I say? Price comes up. Price has to reverse. Okay. I'll map this out in formation. Get the swing high. Connect to the swing low. Look at that, guys. Boom. Retested to the 618. We're taking a short. Take profit down here. Another win in trade. Now let's see what's gonna happen. Price continues to go down. At this point, you can move your stop loss. Bring take profit all the way down here. Keep on trailing, you know, for however long you want. Okay, guys. Um, there you guys have it. Just a quick little glimpse of what my trading looks like and what I look for. Um, if you guys are looking to get mentored by me, make sure y'all um make sure y'all go ahead and hit me with a DM. My course is actually coming out very soon. It's going to be $197. I'm going to teach you beyond what you learned here, okay? If you think you learned a lot just now in this video, trust me. Once my course drops, I'll be giving you guys everything y'all need to know to profit like me, okay? When it comes to mentors, a lot of mentors are going to tell you that you'll get rich quick. You'll do this or that. I'm not here to tell you you'll get rich quick. I'm here to tell you that trading Forex is not easy. This shit is not easy at all. You know, it takes a... It takes a, a true type of a true type of insane to actually go through with this and not give up because so many successful traders go through the hardest times and you know it it, it gets difficult guys but I'm here to kind of cut that learning curve for you and I'm here to teach you guys so you know make the investment of 197 dollars you know I'm willing to give my time to you if you invest in me I'll teach you everything I learned over the years. If you invest in me, you know, I'll invest in you. I'll teach you what you need to know. I'll teach you everything I know. And look, just while I'm talking, W, big old W. Swing low. Swing high. Look at that. Swing low, swing high. Long position on the 618. Even you could decide to take it up to this is 120 pips profit right here. 
stop loss right here. That's about over one to three. Um, there you have it, guys. I'm going to be showing y'all how to make 10% a month. That's what my course consists of. Everything I used to make over 10% a month I actually made 13% last week, guys. If you want to get in on this, if you want to be mentored by the right person, you know, hit me up. You don't want to end up getting mentored by somebody that doesn't know how to trade. I was at that place already. I was paying mentors, give me signals, this and that. It never worked. You know, I'm here to cut that learning curve for you guys and actually get y'all on the right track. So if you're interested in getting mentored, you're interested in getting uh, plugged in with my course, so where you can actually learn how to make money like this, make sure you guys hit me with a DM. I'll respond to y'all as quick as possible. I uh, hope y'all have a great rest of y'all day. And it's been BG4X. I hope y'all learned something new. Peace.